Hello everyone. Today I was watching an interesting video. And that video had Pastor Dowell and Pastor Mike. Two Greek Israelite witches. Now why would I say two Greek Israelite witches? Well, based on their behavior and based on the video, which the title of this video will have their title in it also, that's a foregone conclusion. First and foremost, these people follow the Greek Hellenistic apotheosis version of the old Hebrew scriptures. Now, you can't be lazy like them and find the truth. You know, it's funny that they're trying to make believe and insinuate that other people are lazy and don't listen to them, but that those people, meaning Pastor Donald, Pastor Mike, are taught people. Oh, they're taught all right. They're taught all right. They are trained. Just like they're trying to train you. Just like they trained the individual that called in on the radio show. Now that individual was obviously a follower in one of Pastor Dowell's bootlickers. That is his favorite type of individual, is a bootlicker. I'm telling you, Pastor Dowell doesn't savor anything better than a bootlicker. He, try, he trains the women to be bootlickers. He trains the men to be bootlickers. He trains the children to be bootlickers. I was watching a video and in that video he had a, a young girl come up and well when I say he had her come up he hollered across the field and demanded and ordered her to come over here. And then he laughed about it. He thought it was funny because she came scurrying and running over and she came over. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And he just took so much delight in that. Hey, I'm not saying that giving respect is a bad thing because in our culture, yes, sir, is a sign of respect. But that's just a taut reaction that that young girl was doing. She was trained to do that. Does she have any real respect for Pastor Dowell? Probably fear. Probably fear of the person that trained her to say yes sir and no sir. They call it the fear of God, but that was all part of the terrorist, and I'll say it out loud again, terrorist religion of the Israelites. They were terrorists back then, and they are terrorists today. There's no two ways about it. But anyhow, moving along. I was starting to talk about laziness. And this Pastor Mike and Pastor Dowell, Mike being the puppet, bobblehead doll nodding his head and smiling. He's all happy because, you know, hey, we, we all realize what Pastor Dowell and Pastor Mike are doing. They, they're putting vague things out there so they don't have to address the real issues. And they can give these vague answers to these bootlickers that call up. And the bootlickers will take it from there. And you know a good bootlicker when they call Pastor Dowell up and say, Well, you know, Pastor Dowell, I'm not eating off of anyone else's table. You know that's a personal bootlicker of Pastor Dowell. You know it. You have to know that. If you can't see that, if you don't understand that, then you're one of the zombies. And you're just totally clueless. But granted, you know, you you gotta pay attention to these people. You gotta pay attention. I mean, witches have been around for years. Hebrew witches been around since the beginning. Since the beginning. Oh, they even added in their books and the translations that witches are bad and witches are evil and that kind of thing. Well, granted, these Hebrew Israelite witches are evil. They're evil. And they're speaking through the tongues of the Hellenistic ones, the Greek ones. Now, back to laziness. Pastor Mike, Pastor Dowell, calling out, calling people lazy. Well, how lazy are you guys? Pastor Dowell quoting Psalm 60, 68 verse 4. He's calling that out, and that's evidence because somebody called up and said there is no Yah that Yah is the moon god. Well, Yah is an Egyptian moon god. 
There's no two ways about it. You can research it yourself, but research this. And don't be lazy. And don't be lazy. See, Pastor Dowell, he can take the lazy route, and he can do like many people do, and I begin my research with that too. I'm not saying I don't. I begin my research with eSword, okay? And it's very easy to type in words and type in Bible scriptures and look at them and then look at the Hebrew words that's behind it. But that's based on Esau's translation. Guess what? More often, I shouldn't say more often, quite often, they're wrong. Now, the oldest version of the Hebrew scriptures is the Westminster Leningrad Codex written in Hebrew. But even a person like yourself, anybody, can get a copy of the Leningrad Codex, the Westminster Leningrad Codex, and look for yourself. See if Pastor Dowell is telling the truth, and see if he's really lazy. See how lazy he really is. See how lazy he really is. I was watching him doing chicken plucking yesterday, and I was thinking back when I used to do chicken plucking and processing chickens that we raised. And I look and said, look at that guy. Nice, huh? He just hangs around chatting with the hose, spraying the hose while everybody else is doing all the work. The women were doing the majority of the work. They were. They were. You know something? When we, when we always did, did processing of chicken, the men did all the dirty work. Yeah, because we have a little bit more respect for our women than, well, these cult leaders do. Especially Israelite cult leaders. The Israelites, oh my word. Just read their history. You can read it in the Bible. And you will see that they're this domination type mentality. And they have to dominate everything. Anyhow, yeah, Pastor Dowell's lazy. So I'm going to tell you, there are things you have to look at. Take a look at Esau, for example. Take a look at Psalms 68, verse 4, that Pastor Dowell quoted as being evidence of the name Yah, or Jah, however you want to mistranslate it and misspell it. Now you can look at the Esau and you can look at the King James Plus version which will have a link and it's in there a link for the Hebrew and you click on the link and, the, and it'll identify to you that that the line isn't correct where they took their extraction from to translate it that it's actually translated from 68.5 out of the uh, out of the Hebrew script scriptures and it's easy enough to find and if you look at it and that scope, the lazy scope, that has a lot of mistranslations in it, many mistranslations. So if you really want to be precise, and you really want to, as Pastor Dow would say, burn the midnight oil, you would go to the Leningrad Codex and look at that. So when you go to the Leningrad Codex, what do you find that was actually there that was replaced with this moon god Yah? Or ja. Well, what will you find? You should already know. You should already know because if you're a Hebrew Israelite, you're reading the Hebrew because it's important to you. It's your culture. It's your heritage. It's important. No, it's not. No, it's not to them. That's not important in any way, shape, or form. Now, Pastor Roberts, okay, Pastor Roberts from South Carolina that's part of the same group. Now he gets into the Hebrew but only partial and he wants to keep the same cult mentality going. So he's really not one that could actually help you because he would become the authority in Hebrew for you and he would be the one between you and the scriptures and again more bootlickers. But anyhow, back to Lazy Pastor Dowell. Well, Lazy Pastor Dowell, how was Yah spelt 
and the translation on Esau. It was spelled Yod Hey. And as you, you know, say, well, some people call, excuse me, change the uh, the pronunciations of things a, a little bit. Anyhow, that would be Yo Ya, the Yod Hey. Well, in the Leningrad Codex, it's Bet Yod. Now I'm saying Bet Yod because that's the more modern way that people speak in Hebrew. Because the Hebrew language, these so-called letters, which were originally pictographs, has changed so many times. Because, well, because they're deceitful people, and they've been deceiving people throughout time, so everything has to keep changing. Because when they get caught, they got to change. They get caught, they got to change. So it got changed a lot. And there were a lot of different cults that had their own little specialties. And that's why it's changed so much. But if you go way back, it would be it'd be called something like Baya. And people say, Yeah, see, it's Yah, it's Yah, it's Yah. Well, it's still just, the Yah is just that single letter, the Yod. That's not what's being claimed. That's not what's being claimed by these people. They're claiming yod which is a mistranslation. And how was it mistranslated? There was an insert put there. What insert was it? The Egyptian moon god. Why? Because in actuality, Hebrew Israelites were Canaanites. And Canaanites were under the Egyptian government. You probably didn't know that because, well, lazy people like Pastor Dowell won't look to find that. And if he finds it, or somebody tells him about it, he's not going to pass it on to you. Because then you might know the truth, and not the truth straightway. Because the truth straightway is a different form of truth. It's following tradition. Which he says he shouldn't do, but that's exactly what he do, does. So, back to the reason why this Ja, or this Ya, was used. Because it was a moon god. These people were into the zodiac the planets, and they had their gods associated with them. Their pantheons of gods, they interchange other pantheons of god. And there's one thing I'll give Pastor Dowell credit to, and he did admit into in his video that the Israelites didn't do anything that they said that they were supposed to do. So now, what do people do? Say, well, we have to follow the statutes and commandments and laws, and that's going to save us. That sets you up for failure. Why does that set you up for failure? Because I said it before, I'll say it again. They have the Babylonian Talmud, which was Israel and Israelites who wrote that stuff and wanted to make it Israel state law. Now those laws were called the oral law. And it came about through the group called the Sanhedrin where there was 70 priests that went to the mountain at the base of Mount Sinai when Moses went up there to supposedly receive the Ten Commandments. Now the 70 Sanhedrin said that they also got visions from God. And while well, they convinced the public of it and they brought their laws to create this law structure. Now there's a reason why this law structure people seem to think it's it's good and, and and acceptable because that's what the planet Saturn is all about. And that's where their god Ael came from, or they claimed he came from, the planet Saturn. Because these people are Saturn worshippers, that's why they worship on Saturn Day. That's what Saturday is. And the ones that start on Friday night huh, and go through the night time. They're the dark ones. They're the dark ones. Be very, very careful about those dark ones that start their Sabbath on Friday night. Very careful. See, that's how they progressively get these people into it. They give them a little bit, and they get them in. And they give them a little bit, and they get them in. And they give them a little bit, and they get them in. Till they have them bootlickers, total mind control, and then they can give them the whole deal then. The whole deal is not a good deal, it's a bad deal. 
Because you know something? If you ever read the stories about Satanio, Satanel, Satanel, you could call it Satanel, which was actually El Elyon, the Most High. If you read about about him or about Satan, you would know he was supposed to be the the highest angel in the court of the gods. And in that court, he was the head prosecutor. But he also did another thing. He tempted the people. So first he tempted them, and then he prosecuted them. What do you think the third thing is that he does? Punishes them. <laughs>